what's going on. So, I don't know, I'm really feeling Pokemon today. And um, I want to tell like a little story. And <laughs> I figured I would just play some Peggle because this game is the best. And Fever has to be all the way up. So. Alright, so this is what I normally do. Look. Wait, I can't do it. I, I have my mouse when I do this, but. I don't know if you can hear that. Alright, ready? You can hear fire. Ah. Right. <laughs> I don't know, but it's Mary had a little lamb, and yeah, that always used to be a funny one. Oh snap, oh snap, oh snap. No, no, no. Let's turn that all the way off. Keep the sound on a little bit. But anyways, okay. So the story that I wanted to tell today was about this, um, it's kind of weird, but it's like one of my favorite stories, kind of like an adventure I had, like, in high school, you know, even though I'm still in high school, but this was when I was, like, younger, like, ninth grade or beginning of 10th grade, actually, um, so, like, I've, I was changing friend groups a lot, but, um, I was friends with this one group pretty much, and then I didn't like them very much anymore, and I started hanging out with these other dudes, but there's one dude, the Mexican dude I'm talking about, and he was pretty cool, and so I was like, yo, come hang out with us, and whatever, and like, everyone else kind of drifted, you know, and, um, so yeah, um, I was friends with him and everyone, and so he, I had, like, a part-time job, and there was this dude there that I, like, worked with, and he went to school with, uh, to, uh he went to the same school as us, too, and he was just kind of weird, though, like, everyone knew that, <laughs> but he was cool and everything, so one time, I, like, we were over at his house, and he had always talked about, like, this river that was near his house. And, um, he always talked about how there was, like, he always had parties down there, and there was, like, a little campfire spot and everything. And, but he had never actually shown it to us, or I've never been there myself. And so, like, it, it was, um, <laughs> I was there with two of my friends, um, and the Mexican guy was one of them. Um, <laughs> we were pretty, like, baked or whatever, and then... It's like 2.30 in the morning, and we had the idea to, uh, like, walk down to this freaking river that's apparently close to his house. And so, like, whatever, we're going and stuff. And, um, we were going to make, like, a bonfire and have a good time and everything. And then, like, uh... Um, so we're walking down there, and then I realize that it's taking a particularly long time, particularly long time, and we're freaking walking through a long-ass, like, not even, like, field, it was just dirt. It was, like, they were working on new ground or something, I don't even know, but, um, like, trees they recently cut down or whatever, making room for more houses, because it's kind of a new neighborhood, actually. But, uh, yeah, so, um, it was probably a mile and a half walk, and we get there, and it's completely dark, because it's like 2.33 in the morning, and I'm like, what in the, f what, just why did we walk this far, and so we get there, you can't see anything, it's freaking just sand near, like, some little river, I don't near the, live near the beach, but for some reason, like, there was this, it wasn't dirt or anything. It was just sand. I don't know. I guess that might be normal, but um, 
<laughs> so, um, I'm gonna turn this freaking music off if I can. Gosh, distracting me. And, um, so then there's nowhere to sit or anything, so I'm like, okay. And so we're like, oh, it's okay, there's a bonfire. And he's like, oh, yeah, first we gotta go get sticks. And so I'm like, oh, all right, cool, except because we still can't see anything. I'm, I know I didn't have my phone, and oh yeah, they had like iPhones. I didn't have a smartphone yet, and um, they had their like iPhones, and they didn't want to use it because it was almost dead or something like that. And uh, then Diego just didn't have a phone. I'm pretty sure you know. <laughs> so um. Yeah, um, we were looking for sticks, and we get sticks and whatever, and <laughs> he takes them, and he, <laughs> he puts them in a pile, and we're like, dude, you've got to be freaking kidding me, <laughs> and he sits down on the freaking ground, so we're sitting on the ground with a pile of sticks, with like some matches we don't even have a lighter and oh my god I guess we didn't bring the lighter or something I don't know I don't remember or I guess the lighter died because I remember we ran I don't remember exactly but we we weren't able to use any light or make another fire for some reason so the fire was about to die right we did have a little fire going and we were just sitting there but then not even like 10 minutes go by when we realized it was kind of, it was probably like October, maybe September, or late September. It was freaking pretty chilly, dude. Like, I don't even know. You we were really sitting there. We were like, yeah, this is kind of dumb. Let's go back to your house, you know? And, um, I kind of suck at this game right now. Or I'm not even paying attention, actually. But, um, before the fire died, it was pitch black. We had to walk like a mile and a half, and I forgot to say it was—it's not really downhill, downhill, but we walked slightly downhill the entire time, and so the entire way back it was slightly uphill, and um, oh my gosh! So we had the greatest idea, me and the well, I—it was kind of my idea, but like, so, so we had a bunch of sticks and everything, and I was using this one as a staff, and I was like, dude. We could totally put our socks on the end of this stick and make a freaking torch. And they, my, um, the one weird kid and my other friend were like, no, nah, dude, it won't work. But then Diego's like, wait, dude, that could work. <laughs> so me and him take off our socks and fucking, well, we did one at a time, but I put my sock on the end of the stick. It was like, you know, a good stick that I was using as a staff, like a cane, not like a staff, like a cane, and fucking, oh man, I'm trying not to use bad words, um, <laughs> but, um, oh my gosh, that's so funny, like, but it, the thing is, it worked, like, it made it the entire way. Until we got, like, kind of close. And he was like, yeah, I don't want to get the cops called on me. So, can you please not carry that torch into my neighborhood? <laughs> and we used, like, all but one of the four socks we had intended on using. And, like, I just remember going into that house and freaking crashing, dude. We had to walk so far. I was so tired. And, yeah, that's, like, the story I wanted to tell. So, now, like... Um, well, another thing about him is, like, I won't say what happened, but he, he, like, got put uh, in detention, in, like, a detention center for, like, a month, not even, and I didn't really see him for a while, and I don't really talk to him that much anymore, but when I see him, I, I said it today when I saw him, I said, um, yo, you remember the sock torch? And he's like, yes, dude, that was genius. And it's just it's just so awesome. Like, that's one of the greatest memories ever. Not really, but it's just kind of a funny story. And I thought I'd share it.
and I'm probably not gonna finish this game because it's like 10 minutes and yeah um oh and something if you guys are watching this you can <laughs> see this all right all right i'll show you i'll show you let's see is there a way to minimize this now i'm just gonna drag this down all right i've had the same stupid background that i made it's like it doesn't even show the whole picture but it's just like the crappiest made picture ever like look i took both of the like all three of these off of google um image and like i just literally took went in paint uh paintbrush and selected this and like deleted the rest and then selected this delete the rest and this too and then just put them together so it makes like this um a pickle saying um like i'm gonna hurt you and this one saying like please don't hurt me or oh wait no it says right there please don't hurt me this one's like yeah never mind it kind of is self-explanatory but if you have a background that would fit this that'd be sick ass damn it curse damn wait <laughs> It's a never ending cycle, you know. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Wait, I was up with the X out pickle. It's this.